Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It's still raining here, <clears throat> but it's okay. Uh, so Max writes in asking about microkernel architecture and what do I think about that? <clears throat> and uh, I guess that's that's an interesting question. Um, I suppose it, it it's an inevitable question whenever someone is doing a kernel of their own. Um, I think microkernel architecture is neat <clears throat> and completely impractical. Uh, and I respect anyone who like puts effort into trying to do it, but I tried doing it. Like originally Serenity started out trying to have a microkernel and it didn't take very long before I just said, you know, I'm just not gonna bother with this. I think I think it was when I when I wanted to read something off of the um, file system and I realized, wait a minute, the idea is that these things are all supposed to be different services and this is supposed to be IPC and I barely have anything working and now I have to write this whole gunk of stuff instead of what I want to do. Uh, <laughs> and I know that's a cheap reason, right? But but it really was what happened. Like I, I just felt like completely blocked and slowed down and I couldn't do any of the stuff that I wanted to do. So I just said, to heck with it. I'm just gonna go monolithic and, you know, what's the big deal? Uh, and uh, I, su I suspect that's what happens to, to a lot of people. And I don't mean to be presumptuous, but if you, if you look at um, some popular microkernel projects, then you can kind of tell that they they don't get very far uh, relative to the amount of time that's put into them. And I have respect for these projects, that's for sure, but you can't deny that, that they're spending a lot of time spinning their wheels. So, um, I think uh, for Serenity specifically, I think that we will eventually end up with a bit more of a hybrid <coughs> kernel. Uh, at the moment, there is um, there are a few like uh, separate processes in the kernel. Uh, there's like a, there's a finalizer task that takes care of uh, process and thread teardown, and there's um, like a disk or file system sync ca uh, task, and there's a, I guess the most complex one is the networking task that handles incoming packets, and I could see that moving to user space at some point, and I could see like adding other tasks and, and putting those in user space, or maybe like ring one or two. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the design would be, but um, you know, there are benefits to doing this type of stuff, obviously, because you can, you can, um, I guess, I mean, the main benefit is that you can crash one of these things and the kernel can still carry on. But the amount of friction that it introduces into the development process is not worth it for me at the moment. Maybe someday in the future, when things are a bit clearer, it will suddenly seem worth it to start um, trying to, to do these things. But right now, it's just, I want to make progress, you know, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to architect some beautiful design. I want to build a house and move in, you know? So, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess that's what I think about microkernel architecture. It's like, a, it's like a beautiful design for a house where you never get to move in. And uh, the rain here is just uh, getting a bit crazy now. Maybe it's just temporary. Anyways. Um, Yeah. Yeah, those are my thoughts about that. So, thanks for sending in the question. And uh, as always, like, if anyone has questions or topics or anything that they would like to hear about, um, then do do leave a comment below because I'll happily talk about anything here on Commute Talk. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me on the commute, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>